Happy New Year, everyone. We have some amazing news. Yusuke Murata, the illustrator of One Punch Man, has just revealed that he has started his own animation studio. So if you're not familiar, on Twitter, he's been posting some of these animations that he's been working on, which is probably why the chapters of One Punch Man have been so, like, short recently, and the story hasn't really been progressing. This man has been working his tail off in the background. He's been cooking, and he's been doing some incredible work here, as you can see from some of these animations. You also have to realize that Yusuke Murata has not been animating that long. It was only like maybe two years ago, I remember him tweeting that he is attempting to learn how to animate. Some of these are his first ones. It was like this one and some of these running animations. I think this running animation was the first one I ever saw that he did and it's already incredible. So this guy came in like he started with just, you know, basic like loop and tweening, which is like very typical for how animators start to learn how to use programs. And then he started going into like, you know, the actual animation. And within a short time, this guy's already creating full blown animations far superior than most animators in the entire world. And it's just mind blowing because this guy is already like known as potentially the best manga artist in the entire world. He also does all sorts of promotional material like Shonen Jump covers. In fact, he just did this new issue and he drew Goku and he gets hired a lot by a lot of companies to do promotional artwork which he does in the background as well as makes the One Punch Man manga as well as now is starting his own animation studio so the real question is is this guy going to animate One Punch Man season three by himself is is this any is this connected to One Punch Man season three I don't have that information but I think it's very peculiar that Mappa who probably initially took on the role of being the animation studio for One Punch Man season three may have potentially dropped out because we've seen they've been struggling with Jujutsu Kaisen they were struggling to finish Attack on Titan they took on too much work and it seems like in the background that you put two and two together it seems like they probably dropped out from being the animation studio which may have been why the license holders got irritated when uh, it was leaked that it was mappa now is it possible for murata to animate one punch man season three by himself absolutely not but it is very cool that he is starting an animation studio i, I guess he's going to be some sort of like co director co-owner he'll have some sort of influence in it could he potentially be putting together a studio of incredibly talented animators and contractors to create One Punch Man Season 3. Could he be assembling the A-team of some of the best known talent in Japan in order to make One Punch Man Season 3, which will definitely be very difficult to animate? I think it's likely, uh, I can't confirm that, we can only speculate at this point, but it is interesting that they announced One Punch Man Season 3 a year and a half ago, and we still have not heard a peep. We don't know the studio, we haven't gotten any more promotional artwork, nothing. It's just been dead silence, which signifies to me that that there is some issues going on in the background. So maybe they put their money together, put their resources together, and they're gonna do it themselves, you know, a combination of Murata with a bunch of talented people. But kind of like how a Madhouse did in One Punch Man season one, which was a, a huge A team, a dream team of animators and a director that just put together, obviously, the most phenomenal season one of One Punch Man, complete 10 out of 10, like nobody can argue that. And I think there definitely is some concern that they, you know, don't wanna pull a one one Punch Man Season 2 again. It got a lot of backlash, not only in the West, but in Japan as well. I don't think One Punch Man Season 2 was awful, but, you know, compared to One Punch Man Season 1, which set the bar so high, obviously it's going to be really hard for JC staff to match with that. So this could be an indication that Murata is in on One Punch Man Season 3, but if that's the case... Man, it's not coming for a while, I don't think, and unless he's been already working on it for a year in the background, which I, I hope is the case. It also concerns me because if this man is working on One Punch Man Season 3, that's going to take away from the One Punch Man manga, and we don't want that. <laughs> the One Punch Man manga is incredible. It is the most astounding piece of art. Every chapter is just unreal uh, in terms of the art. I know it's been slow recently, but I guess this is why. I, I guess Murata has been working on some sort of animation recently. He's he's posted, as you can see here, 
all sorts of these, it's called Village Studio, which I guess he works with. I don't think this is his studio, Village Studio, but he's been working on this anime project called Zayuki, and it looks really cool. It's like Wukong, people with powers, and I mean, obviously the animation and character designs look awesome. It looks very similar to One Punch Man style, Murata style. We've seen him do uh, this little Saitama animation, which was one of his earlier animations, and it was awesome. He did this really cool, like, football animation. I mean, this thing was so neat. I, I just, it's messy. Mesmerizing, and it's completely crazy for someone who just started animating a couple of years ago to be this good already. I, you know, he just said he wanted to experiment with it. I, I remember reading his tweet not too long ago. It was like two years ago. He's like, I want to experiment with animation. He started practicing and it's like, God, this guy is just superhuman. Like, I don't know how he can get all this stuff done. And he's very, very good. I mean, he, he understands so much about animation almost immediately. It's like, you can tell from his very first one, uh, which I believe was this Saitama Cape one, this one, it's like super plain, right? It's just very, very basic. Um, just probably just learning how to use the program, learning how to color and stuff like that. And then immediately this guy just like, he just grasps all the fun fundamentals of animation almost immediately, which you can, I mean, it makes sense because if you look at his artwork in the manga, like I always say, it looks like his panels are animated, even though it's just a still picture. And he's just the king of that. So he obviously understands, you know, the fundamentals of animation animation and, and motion and movement. And if he's able to apply that to a still image, it should be very easy for him to apply that to animation, which is just a series of still images to give the optical illusion of movement. That's what animation really is. Now, these village studio uh, animations that he's been showing, you can tell by it, there's no compositing. It looks like like this is like very rough kind of animation, which is a little bit peculiar to me. Like there's no anime filter or anything. It looks like it's just straight raw out of Clip Studio Paint, which, I mean, it's still charming though, I, but maybe they don't have the capacity or to, to do the filtering, maybe they didn't have the money, I don't know. I, I don't really know too much about this stuff, ab about these projects, about these stories. I mean, there's no voice acting or sound or anything, which means that probably like Murata just did this whole thing by himself when he wasn't drawing the One Punch Man chapters, which is incredible in its own right. And maybe this is just in order to get funding or something like that. Perhaps that, you know, they need the funding or they need to show that they have the capability to make animation or to get the funding from a production committee or something like that so they can start animating One Punch Man season three. But I, I, I mean, Murata, to my knowledge, has never worked on like a full fledged uh, anime, like which is completely different than, you know, just even drawing an animation because there's so much millions of moving parts that go into a full-fledged anime production. It's not just simply animation. The timelines and the pacing and, you know, voice acting, sound effects, uh, compositing, and XYZ, artistic design. I mean, the list goes on forever. And that's why in order to make anime, you need, like, a full army of people. It's very clear that Murata is kind of like a one-man army by himself. I mean, the stuff he does is just unfathomable. It just seems, like, inhuman. And I can't believe this guy wants to take on more work. I, I mean, I'm a little worried about his health and burning out. Out. That's just way too much work, man. Like to be animating and doing a, the One Punch Man manga, which is one of the best in the world right now, simultaneously and doing promo work and, and more. I, I don't know how he has time to do all this. I mean, I know he draws like lightning speed, but it's still, I feel like if he doesn't get out of his chair and move around a little bit, you know, he's going to start to have issues. So maybe what he's doing is maybe he's not doing the full fledged animation, but if he can do the keyframes or even sketch out some keyframes for characters and certain moments in the show, that would help a lot. And maybe perhaps he's also doing the character design work for One Punch Man season three. How cool would that be? You know, if you want the models to look exactly like Saitama from the manga, if Murata himself does the character sheets, I mean, that's enough for to help the animators, you know, go ham and, and make it look really clean. In any case, I thought this was really cool news because something big is coming. I mean, Murata has been cooking and I wanted to let you guys know about it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm just, I love everything that Murata does. <laughs> I, I, he's a true inspiration to both me and my Demon Rush artist, Pedro. Uh, we just, we love him. I mean, he's just absolutely incredible. And how could you not lo love this guy? He's so humble too. So uh, I can't wait to see what he comes up with. And I can't wait to hear about One Punch Man season three. But, you know, if... 
if the things have changed behind the scenes and he is like helping with this project but starting some new studio in order to make One Punch Man season three, that probably means it won't be out for a while. Uh, a while, maybe you know, maybe a couple more years or something. Like I don't know, unless they've been cooking on it for a year in the background, which is also possible. Then we could get something pretty soon. We'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys soon for some more One Punch Man.